If I told you your iPhone might be listening to you, watching you and quietly sending data you would never agree to, would you believe me? Well, it's not science fiction. It's just poor default settings. But here's the good news. I'm gonna walk you through the most important privacy settings to change on your iPhone. No tools, no hacking and no tech degree needed. Just a few quick tweaks that can protect your data from apps that don't play fair. Tip number one, microphone access. Let's start with the microphone. This one's personal because once an app has mic access, it can technically record anything even when you're not using it. Now, iOS does show a little orange dot when your mic is in use, but that doesn't help much if you never knew the app had permission to begin with. Some apps ask for microphone access even if they don't need it. A weather app, a mobile game, that's suspicious. Think about this, you installed a fun game years ago, it asked for microphone access once and you forgot about it. Now, that app has the ability to listen in at any time, even if you never use the microphone inside the app. Now, what apps are legit? Video calling apps, obviously FaceTime, Zoom, voice memos, social apps with voice recording features such as WhatsApp, Instagram stories, and so on. So these apps require microphone access for obvious reasons, but some apps don't need it. What to do? Go to settings, privacy and security, microphone, review each app in the list. If the app doesn't have a clear reason to use your mic, turn it off. Tip number two, camera access. Same deal with the camera. When an app has access to your camera, it can see through your lens, literally. You don't want an app quietly snapping photos or recording in the background. That coupon app you downloaded during Black Friday, it might still have camera access months later. So what apps do require camera access? Well. Camera apps, social media, video calls, they do need access to your camera, no problem with these. However, a flashlight app, a note-taking app or games that don't have photo features yet request camera access are suspicious, to say the least. What to do? Go to Settings, Privacy and Security, Camera, Review each app in the list, and if it doesn't need to see through the lens, Turn it off. Tip number three, app tracking transparency. Apps track you across other apps and websites. Visit a shoe store online once and suddenly every app on your phone is showing you shoe ads for days. What to do? Go to settings, privacy and security, tracking, turn off, allow apps to request to track. Tip number four, App Privacy Report. The App Privacy Report is a fantastic tool that gives you real proof instead of just trusting an app's promises. It shows each app's microphone, camera, location and network use, including the websites and most frequently contacted domains. You might find out that your calculator app is sending data to a dozen ad servers every day without your knowledge. To enable this useful tool, simply go to Settings, privacy and security, app privacy report, and turn it on. Tip number five, mail privacy protection. Imagine getting a harmless looking email from a store, but hidden inside is a tracker telling them exactly where you were and when you opened it. Turning on mail privacy protection seals up that leak without breaking your inbox. Here's how to enable it. Go to Settings, Apps, Mail, Privacy Protection, Enable, Protect Mail Activity. Tip number six, security recommendations for passwords. We all reuse passwords sometimes, it's human nature. But one leak, even from a random old forum, can lead hackers straight into your more important accounts. Your iPhone can quietly check your passwords for leaks and warn you before it's too late. What to do? Go to Settings, Apps, 
passwords enable detect compromised passwords. Once enabled, the system will start monitoring your passwords and alert you if they appear in known data leaks. You will be able to review the flagged entries in the security section of the Passwords app. Tip number 7. Photo location data. You take a cute backyard selfie, post it online, and boom, now the metadata says exactly where you live. Toggling off location when you share a photo is a small step that can protect your privacy in a big way. So what to do when sharing? Tap Options at the top of the Share sheet and Toggle off location. Tip number 8. Advanced data protection for iCloud. iCloud data isn't fully encrypted by default. Without advanced data protection, your iCloud backups are vulnerable if someone compromises your Apple account. A hacker who gets your password could access your backups. When you enable advanced data protection, even Apple can't decrypt your photos, notes, or messages. Go to Settings, tap on your name, select iCloud, Advanced Data Protection, and turn it on. Your iPhone is powerful, but by default, it leaks way more than you think. With these changes, you can take back control of your data. Privacy doesn't come automatically anymore. You have to set it up. If you found this helpful, please share it with a friend who might still have their flashlight app spying on them. Now, check out my video about why sharing your secrets with ChatGPT, Claude, or DeepSeek is a grave mistake.